Hey everybody, we're back in town with the Brown. <laughs> uh Jazz, what's your name? Jazz Jazz Boy? Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Jazz Jazzmo. Jazzmo's back in action, folks. Jazzmo's back in town. <laughs> you sound like a fucking uh Sesame Street character. Or a Muppet. You sound like a Muppet. Don't call me a fucking Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a fucking Mupp. Go Ooh. over to go over to England and call somebody a Muppet. Oh, they're going to pull my trousers down, oh, yeah. spank my tallywackles, huh? You better hope that's the you least you're going to do. finger my ain, huh? Make you look bright red on your crankers, huh? Your crankers? Crank <laughs> anchors. Uh, Jim, you want to fucking say you're here? Uh, Yeah, I didn't think of a nickname, though. No. So it's yeah. me, Jim, again. Hi, I'm Jim K. <laughs> Back Are again. Are you a junior or a churd? <laughs> <laughs> JR. Oh, JR! And then we have... By God! Robert Lee Hummel, Bobby. third general of the Confederate Army. That's <laughs> right. Bobby Backsweat, loud and clear. Oh. Bobby Backroads. That's right. <laughs> Bobby's here joining us as a little guest. Uh, he's our fourth, fifth guest, if you're counting people. What the yeah. fuck does that mean? We've had, this is oh, our okay. fourth okay. guest episode, but he's no, the fifth. fifth. Yeah, fourth guest episode. But fifth he's the fifth guest. person. Yeah, we're not doing another double decker mm-hmm. for a while. We, well, you forgot about famous decks from last week. Oh yeah, which a lot of people just ask me, "What the fuck is Jesse doing?" Did he like? <laughs> no, I didn't hear that. Have mid, that a stroke mid conversation? <clears throat> no, they knew what it, what was happening. Did he have dick in his mouth? Dexter, dude, he wow. just, I bet he is the meanest underbite. I've never seen what he looks like, <laughs> but I guarantee I shoot your crap. Mm. Okay, not good. Uh, let's start it off because. Uh, Bobby came to us really mm. earning, for, yearning for fucking please stop. So I and I have a couple please stops to maybe go along with his please stop. What's your please stop, uh, Bobber? Yeah, it's just a quick hitter, and uh, it might piss you guys off, but um, it's people abbreviating the word season to S Z N, and it I, needs no, to just... stop, especially when it's things Come that back season. No, it especially when it's things that last the entire year. Wedding season, you can get wedded on any day of the year. Mm-hmm. It's not a season. The only seasons in my book are basketball season, football season, and hunting season. Mm-hmm. So oh, please stop. Bold. How about the seasons? Wait, 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 wait. You said hunting season. Right. Okay, but correct me if I'm wrong. You're wrong. But at some point during the entire year is a season for hunting something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I'm right. More specifically, deer season. Uh, more specifically... You didn't say deer season. You didn't say deer heating season. At any season. point in the year, there's well, that, a season. That's there's multiple, a hunting season. That's multiple seasons. But it's always hunting season is what you're saying. That's that's an overarching category. Let's, is it or is it not there's always hunting seasons. season? I think we okay. should ask Cecil the Lion. Is that the... R.I.P. Yeah. Is that the one that died? What season was that? Lion hunting season? <laughs> Let's ask that dentist. Anti-dentite. Well, oh, okay. Uh, Dentite sounds racist. <laughs> you watch um, Seinfeld. You know what I'm saying. Well, well, Jesse's probably against you on this take because Jesse oh, believes yeah. it's always ass eating season. Or is there, well, or are well, there certain parts it, of this year that you only eat better rough. ass? Summer's, yeah, summer's rough, rough for ass eating season. season. I, but I, wouldn't you enjoy it more when it's sweaty and raw <laughs> than when it's clean and cold? I mean, when it's cold, it's chapped. But it's not, raw, it's not raw until after he's done. Do you like uh, cold pizza or like cooked pizza or like normal? I like pizza? cooked pizza, but I don't like sweaty asshole pizza. <laughs> I, that's what you're I trying to make. I prefer cold pizza, but I don't know what analogy you're trying to make. No, no. You don't like cold pizza? Not more than hot, fresh, and ready pizza. And mm. not hot and ready Little Caesars. I'm talking about mm. little Italian guy saying, hey, you want, what do you want? And I said, uh, put something on it. Or to me... Um, Suspect. cold pizza is way better than reheating pizza. I'm just not a big fan of reheating. Ooh, pizza. I could probably Ooh. agree with that. Ooh. I just don't eat a lot of cold pizza. What's yeah. up? Have you ever reheated pizza in a pan on the stove? You've never it's lived. Not the same. It gets don't crispy. you just burn the bottom? No, it gets crispy. It doesn't get soggy in the microwave. It gets crispy. So I'm, I I don't know. I just like cold pizza. Try it. Try it. For all you listeners More convenient, out there, try it. Nice oh, little yeah, taste. Yeah, you just pull it out. 
pull the. It's always cold. Cold pizza season. Always. Then it's not a season. Then it, thank you. Go. They're seasoning on top. <laughs> you pull off. Oh. The, you get a plate that. So what know. if we changed it to like <laughs> season being used for seasoning? So like if I'm like, Easy. hey Bobby, what what are you making for dinner? Uh, well, not this week, but whenever it's your week to make dinner, and you're like, oh, you know, lemon pepper. See, it's lemon pepper season. Season. Can I then? Can I laugh at and say yes, Bobby? High five. That's a bad joke. Yeah, so I wouldn't laugh. Sense. If he said that, or it gave me a hashtag lemon pepper sizzle, then I'd be like, let's do it. I, f- I feel like every day is lemon pepper season, so it's not a season. I just love season. You don't make lemon pepper for every meal. You can. But you haven't. You can. I can eat fucking bologna and cheese every day. It's not. I'm not saying l- bologna and cheese season. But you could. Bologna's fucking gross. Bologna is great, especially that beef bologna. Deer bologna? That deer bologna is good. Ooh, the deer bologna. Regular bologna yeah. is trash. Beef bologna. Mm-mm. What but, what even is bologna? It's just a bunch of like leftover stuff packed into a sausage. I think. It's, I think it's pretty much like it's a like, hot dog. It's, it's like, like a the lips and like the mm. the nostrils. Yeah. Waste not, what not, right? That's right. Yeah. See, that's good. You don't think I can handle that shit, man? Fuck you. <laughs> but, um, ask me in about twenty five minutes. Okay. I won't remember it, but fuck you and eat me. Um, so I have another please stop to add on to your please stop. I don't know if you guys will agree with this or not. Uh, I understand and I recognize that Liam Neeson is a respected person and Barely. actor uh, amongst the acting community has made great hits and classics that we can all love and enjoy. Uh, but I need him to please stop making the same movie. I feel like the past 20 movies he's made in the past five years have been the same movie, just different name. I've never seen any of the Takens. No, none all. of them. I've seen Gray. Oh. Well, I haven't seen any of the Takens. There's like Taken, all all three of the Takens. Mm-hmm. Then there was. Is it always his daughter getting taken, or is it someone different? Every well, time? in the first one, taken? it's his daughter. He gets a daughter back. The second one was his wife getting taken, and the daughter helps get her back. And then the third one, spoiler alert, <laughs> they kill the wife. The daughter gets taken, mm-hmm. so he has to do a double find. Like a double take back. Yeah. Well, triple take take back. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know. Double but it's too many no, of those no movies. And then I just saw another commercial. And then he made more. I'd have to look at his uh, discography or filmography. Mm-hmm. But um, he had another one that's out now that's called The Commuter. That looks like shit. Where it's, oh, okay. it's like the same exact vibe where it's like a chick comes up and says, here are the rules. You have to do this, that, that and the other. And he's like... Yet? And he's like, oh, I'm sure it's out now, but I don't give a fuck. You probably could have wanted I to go see it. I to see that. You fucking dirty <laughs> dog. Well, I mean, if you haven't seen any of the Takens, you'd be, it's like you're seeing a new movie, but you're not. Mm-hmm. You're seeing the 17th Taken. Because it's the same thing where it's like, I need to get off this train and figure out what's going on. Where? Tell me where they are. Mm, yeah, pretty much. It's like he see, like some, his agent comes to him and says, hey, Liam, uh, we got a movie for you that we think you'd like. And he says, am I missing anything or do I search for anything? And do I do a lot of cool stunts where guns? Oh, and then he had the other one where he's on he's a um, air marshal on a plane. That was actually pretty good though. And he had to find out who the terrorist was. If it's the same as I think on a train for the commuter, maybe it's a sequel. I'd have to look into that because you never saw that one. It was actually pretty good. He's he's an air marshal, and he keeps getting texts from someone saying like, "I'm gonna hijack this plane." Blah blah blah. You have to figure this that and the other. And he's like going through like all these, and then there's like an Arab guy that there, like all everybody's like pointing at him, like he's definitely the one. He's like, no, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I've never even heard of this one. <clears throat> that's actually a pretty good one. And then there's like a cool stunt where it's like the plane's like going down, so everything's floating, and like he doesn't have his gun, and then like the guy's like the, hi- the hijacker's about to win, and then like he's like not today, and then just jumps while the plane's floating, and then grabs his gun and like in midair mm. and just shoots it, Ooh. kills the guy or some shit. Spoiler. Wow. But yeah, now I don't see to see the movie. So great. But uh, yeah, I probably just, wasn't going to watch it anyway. But I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm just sick and tired of him making the same exact movie. Mm-hmm. I, and I feel like I'm in like a loop in like life where mm-hmm. it's like, it's like the like rec- life of record or the record of life it just keeps skipping. And it's like, oh, another Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson, same movie, same movie, same movie, mm-hmm. different name, slightly. It's like similar to what? Well, your guy. Um, Who's the who's the Mark Wahlberg? No, uh, Kung Fu guy had his new own Bitcoin. Ah, uh, Steven Skull. Yeah, Steven Skull makes his same fucking movie, and all of his movies are just one words where it's like the the vengeance. And he does fake karate the entire time. Yeah, yeah. where he's just like he's he's a karate master, right? Yeah, I think he has his hands register as weapons. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Wow. But yeah, I need that to stop. And do I have another thing to stop? 
No, it's not really a police stop. It's just more shit I'm annoyed about. But, um, yeah, so Liam Neeson, please stop making the same movies or, you know, do something different. Do a comedy for once, you fucking weirdo. I don't know if he's able to do nah, that. Nah, he can't. Mm-mm. He was in Family Guy as himself. Wasn't he as himself in, like, a Taken parody, though? No, he was as himself in an, a whole entire episode, and then it's like mm-hmm. Peter keeps trying to fight him because oh. he thinks he's tough, and then it's like him with a Scottish accent. He's like, oh, okay. yeah." I forgot that was a thing, actually. I forgot Family, Family Guy. Guy was around. Yeah, you know. Except I always get reminded when I watch uh, the Sixers because Stewie's like, excellent, when they make a foul shot. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then two minutes guy. You know it's Matt Cord that does says the two minutes. Oh, my God. That's yeah. the scariest thing. Yeah, he's an idiot. For what? you got to pick and choose when you say the two minutes. Because... There's two minutes left in a period or a quarter, however okay. you want to call it. They also, what's, 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 what what's, about Matt Cord, though? Why? Let me... Let me first get one answer out of you basketball folks that have, have more basketball IQ. What's what's preferable? I thought it would be called quarters because there's four of them, but people still call them periods. What's better, period or quarter? It's a quarter. It's quarter. Because I've heard coaches and everybody else, sports analysts, refer to them as periods. I thought uh, only hockey had periods because there's three of them. Maybe it's an analyst that does basketball and hockey so he doesn't get mixed up and he can't be wrong. Yeah. He just yeah. calls everything a period. Maybe that makes sense. Also, yeah, Matt Cord, it, he's usually on uh, – WMMR or whatever he used to be like a DJ there. I think he transitioned as the the uh, arena announcer. Mm-hmm. Oh. But he's the one that he also says uh, two minutes. Mm-hmm. I knew it was the like the arena announcer. I didn't know he had anything to do before that though. Like I, I've known about him. I yeah. Know well, he, he and then like Jesse just brought it up that it was pissing him off because it was like I forget someone on the Sixers was about to take like a big shot and he screams two minutes and then they fucking break it bricks the shit out of it he screams it it's like all right what the fuck it's like pick and choose like just just wait a fucking actually you don't even have to say two minutes every Who's telling every you? announcer does that though but you got you got to be like oh, i probably shouldn't say it here it's uh he's taking a big it's like shot. a golf thing when they yeah. say like quiet please the little sign yeah and there's that asshole it's like yeah but they're playing hey tiger they're... bitch and he fucking bricks it or <laughs> they're playing music it. the entire game though yeah but he kind of cut it's it's out of nowhere like, well, it's not out of nowhere. It's at two minutes every time. Well, if you're a player, how are you going to know it's going to be two minutes? You're gonna if be you're a the good clock. player, you should know how much time is on the clock. Uh, you if, you're scrub, clock? if you're a scrub, well, then you the might clock. not you know. You get a wide open jumper. Oh, wait, it's two minutes. I can't shoot. If you're, good, if you're good, you're hitting that. No, I'd rather not have someone over the speakers Screen yell it. that it's two minutes. Isn't, cause isn't I don't really the, uh, shit the game minutes. clock right above the shot clock? If I know the clock, I don't need to be told. So why the fuck is there an announcer screaming it? To, to, to let them know, it's not like no. it's not like in fighting where they do the weird like when there's like seconds. ten seconds left or whatever, mm-hmm. and that's when you know swing for the fences if it's like your last round. Mm-hmm. Basketball, it's not gonna help me. If more loud noises, I feel like more players are gonna get shook. But then your arm's like, well, if you're good, if you're locked down, focused, <laughs> you should be able to sink that shit, dude. Yeah, no, you can't sink that shit. I say pudding when you're taking a shot, you're gonna brick it. Nah, that's not true. <laughs> nah, that's not true. <laughs> I You're like going to get some pudding in your eye oh. after I'm done with you because I'm sick of that shit. Okay. Sounds like a challenge <laughs> if I've ever heard. You got some fucking something to talk about there? Uh, yeah, we got a returning sponsor. Okay. Uh, it's been a while, but we have a faithful sponsor on the pod returning this, this week. Is this racist milk? No, no, no. Damn. Um, there's some hot water in the news, but mm-hmm. uh, they decided to come back because they want to show everyone that they're on top, so they're coming back to the pod. And... This week's episode is being brought to you for a second time by Facebook. More specifically, <laughs> Jesse Culp's old Facebook posts oh, from shit. 2007 <laughs> to 2008. Uh, we kind of went over them before, but um, I, I did some research, and Jesse is very, very problematic. Very. Um, he's got one. Oh, God damn it. Uh, it says, you were like... You're very poetic at times. Yeah, no. It's... And I looked this up to make sure it wasn't plagiarized, but you said, to me, she meant no means. Just another obscene wet dream. Damn. That's a yeah. lyric. That's, That's fucking a lyric. cold. I looked it up. Nothing. You like that? No. <laughs> well, I know you got it from somewhere where you saw it in a haiku or some shit. You got that? Yeah, we'll prove it. We've got you looking to get jammed. <laughs> we got jizzed on a trisket. Oh, that was good. I remember because I changed my name to Jizzy Culp for a little bit. You remember that? <laughs> what the fuck? J I Z Z E. Jizzy Culp. Well, now you're Jazzmo. Jazz and we've got if Pluto is not a planet, 
then is it the same as saying midgets aren't human? Well, you know what? That's a hot take. It's a fair point. R.I.P. French Royer. Very, well, very if, bad timing. Uh, if the boot fits, wear it. Well, if the boot fits, is it a human? Or is it if it's too big of a boot, it's not a human? I guess You didn't I, answer the question. I guess by Neil Tyson Degrassi's. Wrong. It's Neil deGrasse Tyson. Well, f- whatever. <laughs> he, he's a nerd. He took away Pluto. Um, okay. Again, for a second time, just mm-hmm. let that be known. Um, so what's your take on little people? Uh, well, by his logic, they're not humans. What about your logic? You're not known to go by other people's logic, right? You're not plagiarizer. What's your logic? Um, yeah, they're, they're people. They're humans. Would you kiss one? I feel like I'd be judged. If she had a kid, would you kiss one? Mm, once again, I'd probably be judged even more. Do you care about what people think about you more than your personal feelings? I don't like to be like looked at as. Ugh, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I don't want to. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Would you guys go to a midget wrestling match? Oh yeah, there's yeah. been a couple in Philly, right? Did you guys actually go to that one? Isn't that a little disrespectful? If they're okay with it, they're making I don't money. I don't give a fuck. Where else are they gonna make? How do money? you know they're okay with it? That could be hurting them deep down inside. Probably a lot of people work jobs that hurt them deep down inside. It's because it's they're making hurt more. Scrippers. I would definitely go, though. Yeah. yeah. So you have no problem if they are hurt deep down inside is what you're saying. I was just seeing if you guys had any empathy, but I guess not. What if they're like, they don't know that it's like midget wrestling and they think they're like getting their big break and then they walk out and they see, <laughs> More they look eye to eye with another and <laughs> dressed as a cowboy. He's like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's fucking go. And I just picture the, uh, the remember the South Park where Cartman, uh, Bullets like are like words. <laughs> <laughs> or words are like bullets. <laughs> but you cannot hurt me. Oh, it's so disrespectful. Oh. Um, R.I.P. I mean, he, I didn't know he was that young. I thought he was way older than that. 49. Nope. But he's... no. He, he, <clears throat> actually, I'm surprised. Like, this sounds really messed up. Have, have you ever seen... Faster? Have you seen an elder... <laughs> Weeman? <laughs> I don't know what their average lifespan is. So I, th- I feel like he pushed the limit, to be honest. Are you he... saying the wee man or just a wee man? A little person. He, he, I think he was going. He was fighting some disease or some shit. I don't know if it was little person disease or some He was other just shit. depressed. That's all it was. I thought it was something else, too. Anyway, um, well, this is disease. everybody's just calling mini, mini me all the time. Could you imagine, like, you do one roll and everybody calls you fucking, hey, slick back. <laughs> and you're like, that, that that's racist, bad, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, I think it's, I think it's worse that they didn't give him any lines in the movie except him like moaning. <laughs> yeah, that you made it way worse. <laughs> you complete me. Oh, um, no. But I mean, me and Jim are are well aware of the the little person race. We watch pit bulls and people. It's pit boss. Pit boss. Have L- you seen an old Little one? Women of Atlanta? Hey. Little oh, Women of Atlanta. Miss Juicy. Miss Juicy. <laughs> Pay her some respect, damn it. No, fuck Miss Juicy. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. She's rude. She thinks she's all she's that. She's not rude. She's just very confident. And I feel like you are you feel insecure around a very confident midget. I know. Well, little I'm, person. I'm going to go with what I said. Damn what, it. What kind of beer is Miss Juicy? Oh, God. This is okay. lame. Okay. What? what? A stout. Oh, boo, boo, boo. Wow. Jasmo. <laughs> Coming at Fucking you again. Jasmo the clown on this episode. I feel like Jasmo is your midget name. Okay, if you were stop? a little it's a little person. If you were, I feel like they don't give a fuck anymore. God oh, damn it. They're uh they're um what are they called? <laughs> oh, what are they called? Short. No, like you know in like those like nerd games, like the uh Trolls, elves, what the fuck is uh that? hobbits. Dwarfs? Yeah, dwarfs. Yeah. Um, what? What do you got to say? About oh, you're looking at me like, <laughs> we're, 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 don't say that. No, I'm just saying I'm waiting for the punch. Like, where are you going? I don't with know. This? Yeah, I don't know where it's. <laughs> if if they're not in direct possession with a battle axe, they're not a dwarf. Mm. Just want to put that out there. So yeah, you know what? They're midgets. So if you give a midget an axe, they're a dwarf. Oh yeah, ah. battle axe. Um, <laughs> you put that on a shirt. That'd be no. that look real nice on a shirt. <laughs> Just that quote? Just a dwarf with a battle axe. <laughs> sure. Jim, get to it. Yeah, yeah that'll get be coming out next week. Uh, Oblivion or something. <laughs> um, You guys love William Dafoe, right? 
Green Goblin. I like that. And the weird dude, dude from I, Boondock Saints. I hate the way he looks. He's scary, right? Doesn't he just a scary human face? It's like they gotta really remake. It. They gotta remake Batman, but the Green Goblin. That wouldn't make like any his sense, point of view not in with the... William Defoe. Batman, Green, oh, Spider-Man, Green, same thing. No, they're at two it's different the universes. Same thing. Two different Can universes. Prove give it. give Willem Dafoe his own Green Goblin uh, spinoff. No, no one's gonna watch that. Nah, he looks weird. I think he's too old. Now I would watch a movie yeah. where he's like a killer. They need to make him a murderer in a movie yeah. where he's like a serial killer getting away with it, and then at the end, the trusty guy who's probably played by like a new Mike Myers, Ben Affleck. Not not Ben. Yeah. Ben's too old and uh, Ben Stiller. Not Ben Stiller. Uh, what's who's Adam the Adam Sandler? Problem? That plays Chris Robbie Pratt. Durst. Oh, Chris Pratt. Oh, in the Notebook. Oh, uh, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling is the detective hunting him down, and he's always one step behind him. But so then at the end, no, you wait, find wait, out wait, wait, William wait. Defoe's his dad. So you're Ooh. just coming up with a new True Detective uh, season. Is William well, Defoe no one's seen True Detective? <laughs> You've never seen True Detective? I don't, I have, I don't have HBO. I haven't. You would like it. You would like it. You would probably like it. it. I want to start Westworld because now everybody's beating their dicks about Westworld. Mm. Yeah, I don't know anything about Westworld. It's like robots and then they're in like a Western world. Wow. I don't know. I watched about three episodes. It didn't it just Westworld, didn't catch. Really? You didn't like it? You didn't, didn't like naked robots? Me. I mean, I'm not into that kind of thing. I don't know if you are. You but... like nude people? Aren't all robots yeah. naked? No, they're robots. No, but they're robots that look like humans, but then like they're in like a shop all the time and like uh-huh. their tits and vages are out and shit. Mm. Oh, really? But it's a robot. Yeah, well, I mean, it looks like a human. Would you fuck you, a robot? Would... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck a robot? In the West World? Yes. Mm, 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 uh, not the ones theory? we have. Not... Like, like my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking metal. No. no. Metal on metal. That's like me trying to jam my dick in your Lenovo right here. Right. <laughs> Fucking vent ports. Uh, you can flip it around. <laughs> you <laughs> you put, it, to, put it in tablet want, mode. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You want me to do it? I'll take your fucking laptop down. <laughs> Come on the screen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just put a fucking picture of Scarlett Johansson on, and I'll mm-hmm. just... Tape it to the front. Didn't put on you, tape, put, it, tape it. Put just it in go tablet mode and go on Google. Yeah. Google, and then... Does it have a wipeable screen? <laughs> uh, well, it's got a touch screen. I know it has touch screen. You're just telling me... So you wipeable, want me to slam, my, screen you want me wipeable. slam the tip on her? I, I don't want you to do any of that. Use your, use your dick I'm as just a saying stylus. every... Sc- <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did we already talk about if you had to draw with your dick... Would you draw, like, if I had to paint, you know, remember that weird dude that was on Taj <laughs> that painted Dicasso. with his dick? Yeah. Would you paint like this or like this? Ooh. Mm. Like an actual pencil. Yeah. Um, not, the, not like an actual pencil. No. So you do like a weird yeah. paintbrush? I feel like if you're flaccid, straight. you're able to do like an actual pencil. But if yeah. you're if you're not flaccid and you're erect, you got to go, I don't know, like underhand, I guess you'd call it? I don't know how to describe it. I think it's like it. watering hose, right? Or... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Or a lightsaber. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. It's called a lightsaber. Like you're holding the sword. And then <laughs> pencil stylus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Why would you Why would you paint with your dick, dude? Why don't you get paint in your hole? Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole other uh, issue. Put an earplug in. Mm-mm-mm. Or put a uh, the cable wire. Oh, Asian callback. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of Asian callbacks. Tenoshi. Oh, God. Very. That's his name, right? But no, that's enjoy in Japanese. Oh, you're already getting a foot up. Mm-hmm. I thought we were going to start at the same time, but I'm guessing you're getting a foot up. Um, so, folks, the poll's in. Only 12 people voted, but we have decided. 12 or 13, I don't know. Uh, we are going to learn Japanese. Boo. Bobby, I don't even think Did Bobby knows what he wants. You voted German. Like. You voted German? Okay. German would be hilarious. Mm-hmm. You guys are just screaming at each other. Yeah, you still, I feel like Japanese is another screaming language. German and Japanese were the two top. But then mm. Japanese took a, a little swing. They were tied, and then someone voted for the last one. It's I don't know who tough. put it over the edge. But so, so what you. are you guys going to do? Use like Rosetta Stone, or I think so. I think we're, we're just going to watch Rosetta. a bunch of hentai money. and then just. I swear. Oi. So we're going to come on the podcast and be like, up to death. So what have you learned, about today, guys? What what lesson did you get past? And like me and Joe, be like, oh, lesson two. I can say fucking... Bukake. I could say running water against the peaceful tree. And Jesse's like, I could say come on my tits. <laughs> and please stop choking me with your dragon dick. Yes. Well. <laughs> all, all ends of the spectrum. Do you watch hentai? hentai? No, too long. Too long to answer. 
<laughs> I wanted you to say it correctly first. Okay. He said it correctly the second time, right? No. Have you I, ever? I see, I see the little, like, when I scroll down. <laughs> your I, eyes. Your eyes did the little cat clock thing where you went. <laughs> <laughs> think they're on to me. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you're scrolling down and you see, like. Like you Lois know, Griffin getting fucked by Peter Griffin yeah, with yeah. a monster cock, and you're like, oh, oh I, they're family favorites. And you see like fucking Reptar dicking down the uh, Angelica. No, that says on a whole other spectrum, dude. Reptar dicking down what's 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 the mom's name? Uh, Tom Pickle's mom's name. I don't she know. enjoyed Doctor Lipshits. Uh, I don't remember her name. <laughs> Whatever she was getting the, the the what's habits by Reptar. I feel I feel like you like creatures. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You probably watch Our Real Monsters. Fuck, is what we're saying. Oh, mm. we're just like a demogorgon, just fucking. The hell is that? <laughs> like, you ever see the, the you ever see the the, the little pop ups for they're like way too realistic, like cartoon. They like they try and make cartoons like realistic and three D. Yeah. It's fucking weird. So it's like a weird goblin creature <laughs> dragon hybrid just fucking a normal girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's getting really dark so, right here. I'm just saying. I just that's the closest I've gotten. Did to that it. get you off, Bobby? No, no, no. I'm good. <laughs> Bobby is pleading the fifth on all sexually. Bobby, what's your favorite popsicle? Five. <laughs> Cherry, <laughs> please. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five. <laughs> Cherry. Oh, cool. So, Bobby, what's uh, what's uh, what the fuck was I going to ask him? Oh, can you explain the uh, shopping carts with the locking wheels? How's that work? What? Why? Why am I being asked this? I don't know. I, do I look like something? I th- I feel like you would know. What do you mean? They lock when you push it, or when you get to like a certain point, they like lock. I don't, Are they like magnets? What the fuck have you yeah. done this before? Oh, like like when you put them back in the cart return? No, 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 no. It, well, what like kind of why would you want your cart to lock? If, Shop right. if they're in like a bad neighborhood, it's not the greatest neighborhood. Oh. And like, so um, can, when you're like, well, you've never seen this? No, what? I've never heard of this day in my life. Back at the save lot uh, down in East Lansdowne, um, there, even like any other ones, there's oh. some in Philly. You There's like painted lines where it's like, you can't go past this point because then you're not going to be able to push the cart. Because they like have a, homeless people that steal carts. Is it like a radio device that like automatically locks? Like that, a, There's like a thing that goes in front of the wheel. Like it's like a, putting a boot on a wheel yeah, on a like tire. Yeah, like an invisible fence for a dog, but yeah. for a cart. How's that? Uh, is it like magnets? That's probably just like a radio signal. You're just blowing my mind with this information. You never seen this? That a save a lot would go to this length. If yeah, you, to if save you want to stop cart? homeless people from stealing your carts, yeah. Here's what you do, Jim. Do the Aldi's thing. Go to Aldi's. Have you ever been to Aldi's? I don't know what that is. Called the German market. Hell Anyways, you, you don't know what Aldi's is? No. You fucking. You go down there, puss. and you have to put in a quarter to get a cart out. And everybody takes their cart yeah. back because yeah. they want their quarter back, and that's how it's solved. That's homeless how it's. People, it's homeless people that's don't have. What quarters. happens at save a lot and carts get no, fucking taken? Homeless people don't have quarters. No, a lot of people. You can find carts with quarters just in them, and then people scheme and they say "fuck it" and just like wrap it around. No, you can't do no. that. Not with all these carts. I don't know what save makeshift a lot. Save a bullshit. Lot. Why are you going to a save a lot? I'm He's sorry, to dude. Save a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure save a lot is the last place you want to go if you're trying to save a lot. <laughs> no, no, they have a lot of off-brand, cheap. So does Aldi's. In Aldi's, Aldi's. you can buy by the bulk, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, that is true. But I'm just saying, say lots radio of radio carts. The say fuck lots you local? doing? So, so you're saying, why don't we? Why don't we make a video where you jump in the cart and we push you really mm-hmm. fucking fast towards the line and watch you go? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because I was I grown up wondering what would happen because they I've never tried it. Well, I have. Like you push, it, you go up to the line, and it fucking locks your wheels. How do you get your groceries to your car? It's it like. The line is painted around the parking lot. Oh, it's not painted out, out front of the door? Mm-mm. No. What sense would that make? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, homeless people, I only just live in the parking lot then with a whole bunch hey, of fucking mega carts I've stacked out of the parking lot. They're going to ask you to leave. Try to try to get me. I got 50 carts defending Ooh. me. The fuck you going to do? So you're saying a homeless man now has, what, 1250 on him now? And he's going to use them all for carts? Oh, so there's still quarter mm-hmm. f- functions for this? Mm-hmm. See, that's way too much uh. technology. I just like the all these simple chain. Put it back. Pop your quarter out. Yeah, I don't like save this a lot. They do double protection. Dumb. Stupid. Don't like it. Extra. Too much. I don't think they really have the... Um, I don't think they they make that much money in the first place to be doing something like that. And also, I mean, what if you lose two or three carts a year? 
It's rather than putting in probably a multi-thousand dollar security Ooh, system for your cars. We're talking millions, sir. <laughs> I mean, if you're doing country wide, I feel like they only as... go in like the, the really shitty parts of the city. But like, Wow, you know, thank you. Where do you, you still live in East Lansdowne? No, I don't. Oh, then look right I here. I don't appreciate you talking down my culture. You just talk down in your own culture. You said shitty areas. We can rewind if you I want. I can say it. You can't. I can. It's my word. I own it. I live you... in Claymont. You guys call it Marcus Hook. I can say where the <laughs> fuck I want, bitch. Does Amelia's do that, too? Amelia's Market? Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, yeah, they're not, they're not that big. Nah, fuck you. Uh, have you guys <laughs> seen Aunt Mary Pat? The fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Fuck, I should, I should have told you guys to research it. We'll research it for person? next episode. It's a fucking internet personality. You know how everybody, like, the new thing now is to dress up like something and be a weird person on the internet? Hmm. Are, you like, are, you like, uh, are you like Googly Berry? Never, don't even know what that is. <laughs> no, you know how there's that one girl that does that really annoying thing where she puts too much lip, <laughs> lipstick on? And she talks like this, and then it's really annoying. Uh, I forget yeah, what the fuck her uh, name is. Something Sings. Yeah, Amanda Sings or Ver- Miranda. Sings. Miranda Sings. Yeah, I'm just glad I don't know who these people are. She, That's she good. was big on Vine. She got her own Netflix movie. Yeah, and then like oh a, she, I think she had she had a Netflix series, but then they took it down. She got all crying good. and shit. But she just got millions of viewers, and it really hurts when people get this many viewers. And I don't understand why. It just shows our youth is diminishing and degrading. But uh, the new one out is a Delco thing where it's this this dude dresses up like a Delco mom and talks <laughs> oh, talks in a Delco accent. Oh, I didn't see that. I, I very Mary much Pat, enjoyed. Look it up. And he's <laughs> always like, yeah, right. so I went to the Wawa and got a hoagie. And then uh, oh, yeah. f- married, Mary Jo's making my hoagie. And I say, yep, little mayo, little mayo. <laughs> and she just slobs on the mayo. So now I got a wet mm-hmm. hoagie. It's mm-hmm. horrible. We learned that last week. Mayo is fucking. Do you like mayo? I hate mayo. It's okay, worse. good. Do you yeah. not like it yeah. in anything? I thought you said you like it in some things. No, no, I hate mayo. What about mayo? Uh, chipotle mayo? No, no, ch- ch- but I did recently learn that mayo is in Chick-fil-A sauce, and I love Chick-fil-A sauce, so. Uh, oh, so does that throw a wrench in your dick? I haven't heard that before. Yeah, Jesse That's went new. over the uh, recipe for Chick-fil-A sauce last episode. Yeah, how'd that go for you? You're obviously wrong then, right? Or for me? Just Why are you right asking now? me? You're the mm-hmm. one that just found out that your recipe was wrong. No. I mean, no. I'm just saying. That's what I heard. I'll if there's my... mayo in it, then your recipe's fucked, and you lied to everyone that listened. What was in your recipe? All right, so it was. Can I get the abbreviated version? Hickory. There's only two fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's two things: hickory barbecue sauce, any type of hickory barbecue sauce, and Newman's Own honey mustard. Has to be Newman's Own. Hmm. That's a, that's pretty much Chick Fil A sauce. Maybe they dust a little mayo in there, but no, it's dust. definitely a mayo base. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't Newman's Own have little specks of shit in it? Not shit, but not little always. specks of something. No, not the honey mustard. Maybe like their little vinaigrettes have some like flakes of stuff in it. I always just don't like his face. Maybe some. Trash, I don't like Newman's face, like Dijon mustard or something. I remember working at Giant, and I'd always have to change the tags for them, mm-hmm. and I'd just stare at his face, and I'd be like, "What's this guy hiding? He kind of looks like an evil Mari. Mm-hmm. He looks like he's hiding something. Like we're going to find out the Newman's own company has used child labor for you know what's years. good? The Newman's own pineapple salsa. Mm-hmm. That is good. I'm confused. What do you mean you're confused? Never seen pineapple salsa? No. Really? Pineapple salsa? Salsa. Yes. Don't know. How about mango salsa? Mm. Anything really? with a fruit. I only know tomato salsa, right? Is that the main salsa? Tomato, tomato is, a fruit? is a fruit. Okay. Green beans are fruit, too. Uh, the citrus fruits. Mm. It's a little, little change. <clears throat> no retort there. Hmm. It's a little tropical, a little summer salsa. I don't know. Why are you going to put that on your pizza now? Because you're a pineapple head? No, I'm just saying pineapple. Well, pineapple deserves to be on pizza it but does. pineapple salsa oh. is good see thank pineapple you is good thank on you pizza. Oh my God. you guys have the now worst we're split 50 50 because you fucks i got you jim shut up <laughs> asshole what else do you like on your pizza that's just like frowned upon as well probably likes ice cubes on it or some no, shit because he likes cold no. pizza ice cube. i remember syrup sandwiches did you no. say syrup maple syrup on his pizza I, I could probably have that. That yeah, actually wouldn't not, be that bad. Doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I would try that. You could make a uh, French toast pizza. That sounds awful, though. What? Coated just said it. That just sounds like treachery. Bake it? Yeah, that sounds really bad now no, that I said no, it out no, loud. No, no. How do you make French toast? Well, my own personal what? recipe. Never made French toast. Is uh, all you really got to do is get some eggs and then dip the bread in eggs and say fuck it. But oh, I think I me, watched Monica make them. My, time. I'm cultured and I get. Uh, I crack some eggs, put it in a bowl, get some cinnamon, mm-hmm. da- uh, put some dash of cinnamon in there, oh, get dash. some vanilla extract, mm. 
Toss some of that in there. Whisk it up, and then slop around the bread. Slop. You got you to gotta get thick bread. Thick. That's the thing. Very thick bread. White. Um, Wheat. Rye. Potato. I like wheat. a nice, uh, mm, nice light skin bread. I'm a big fan. <laughs> and you dip that in the uh, little yolk, little pool, pool of yolks you got, and then put it in the pan, fry it up, and serve it. Sir. Okay. You never made French toast? Nope. Mm. Sounds like a lot of work, though. Yeah, but it sounds very simple. Pays off. You can do it in one pan. And French now you're toast all about season. The one pan. I'm a one pan guy, you know? I'm about the one pan recipes. Okay. And I stand by it. Speaking of recipes, KFC, I have a bold prediction. I told Zach this the other day. Um, this is not a good segue, but yeah, go ahead. I think that was KFC a good segue. original recipe. I I was thought word association. <laughs> Kentucky. The Kentucky Derby is going to be great. Yeah. Horses. Jesse fucks horses. Like, that's, that's we can use your line of reason rude. right there. That's rude. Okay, personally. go back with your KFC guy. Now that we can. All right. So, <laughs> my bold prediction is that after seeing dumbass Reba be the colonel, mm, I know the next good. colonel is going to be Yodel Boy. I knew you were going to say that. Mm, I can How do you feel that. about that? I can see that happening. Bold prediction. Uh, well, mm, I can. Uh, no way. I it fits. That's why I say that, but I don't think it'll actually happen. Why not, Daddy? <laughs> I just. It's finger licking good. I I just don't see it happening. I just don't. Why? It's and a good reaction, all right. He's an all-American boy. Good so old we're, trying, we're trying to reach the millennials. We're trying to feed those fat fucks. You don't think they're already eating KFC? That's yeah, what but they now with Yodel Boy, it's going to be for KFC. KFC is going to be a sponsor for fucking Coachella and also the fucking they Hank Williams Sr. In Yodel concert. Boy. They're making a ton of money. No. Yeah, they got, Southern. Well, apparently not. They got fucking dumbass Reba. Yeah, Reba's okay. as cold a celebrity as you could dig up a dead one and find something more relevant. Yeah, very she's, disrespectful. She's been, but she's been the colonel for the longest so far. No, I think no. what's his name was way longer. Ooh, Rob Riggle. Yeah, oh, he creeped me out. I hate Rob Riggle though. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't like him. I hate his like NFL Sunday skits. Are that's the, the worst. worst. Oh, that's, that's my least favorite thing of the day. Of the day. Of the day. Of the Sunday. Rob Riggle takes season. doing his pregame stuff. Season. Mm-hmm. Rob Riggle season. During an actual season. Well, if he starts doing it during the NBA season, what are you going to do? Mm. I, I don't He does blackface. No. Oh. Mm. oh, actually, I kind of would tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse will fit right in. No, no. I just, oh. just want to see him act a fool. Ooh. Why is he acting a fool if he's in blackface? Why can't he just be a respectable black man? That's not Why is usually he act- how it goes when... Oh. Have you ever... <laughs> what are they called, Jen? Didn't you tell me what the, those types of shows were called? <laughs> what? The minstrel shows? Yeah. yeah. What I, they... t- I took an African-American studies class. I know what a minstrel show is. Okay. What do they usually do in such shows? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you took the class, Jim. Da, da, I da, did. Da, 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 da. Move on. <laughs> how is me knowing this? How like, I, don't, mm-hmm. I don't get what you're trying to prove. I'm, I'm just, I don't know, just, just saying stuff. You know? I don't like your little it's head very cocking right now. A lot here. of racist tendencies right now. I don't like it. <sighs> it's finger licking good. <laughs> that was Zach, wasn't me? No, I could totally see. It. Oh, dude, they would love it. I'm trying to think of who. I don't know why they haven't gotten like a man, a male country singer to do it. Right? You would think. Yeah, I think, so. I think maybe for the summer they're gonna do that because that's when all the country shows are like at their height, their peak. They'll get a country singer oh, and then get... they'll make him like little. They'll make him little colonel. Ooh, they'll make him little colonel. They gotta make the one dude the new colonel. It's the the the, the dude that we went to the concert. Well, you guys went to the concert. Oh, the for. guy in the concert. Yeah. No, that right. we he went sang. to AC for. We didn't on go the to beach. Blake Shelton. Yeah, he's Love gonna be the, he's gonna be no. the next colonel. Oh, he's gonna be the next him, colonel. Dude. Definitely. If if that, there's gonna be a, a country singer, it's him. Dude, he sucks so bad. I hate. Oh, I hate Blake Shelton. You like Blake Shelton? Uh, I don't like okay. him. I like him because I feel like he's uh. He's a sellout piece of shit. That's why I think I like him. Wow. <laughs> like, there's always that artist that's, like, definitely a piece of shit, but they make, like, like his music. I'm just like, wow, this dude's such an asshole, and I fucking love I don't know. It's, like, that weird really? asshole factor. I don't like it. Like, I feel like that's how I am with Kanye music. Like, Kanye is such a piece of shit, mm-hmm. but I still just will listen to his music, and I like some of his classics. There's newer shit's falling off. What about that one Sounds song? Good. It's like, 
You name the babies, I'll name the dogs. Yeah, it's terrible. I like that one. It's awful. I never heard that one, but I'm sure it's good. I, I've, I've heard it. I'm just. I, I saw his name and I just went next. I have a lot of that on this isn't playlist. He, isn't he sexiest man alive? He was for some it. fucking reason. <laughs> man, Pink is the sexiest woman alive. Uh, who the fuck said that? You don't believe that? No, Pink. No, no exclamation point anymore. It's too old oh, for that. Wow. Wow. Transition. Transition. <laughs> mm-hmm. Turn that point upside down. It's an eye now. That's. Ooh, I like that. I, I do like, like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Maybe she's not good looking. I would say. I think she's all right. She's not bad. I think it's like People I'm, Magazine. I'm, she's not something. bonerific. I'm not fucking sexiest woman alive right now. There's mm. a lot more than that above her. Put, um, put a bag over her head and like scream stuff. Yeah. Any more you want to add to that? <laughs> you can put her on a leather mask, too. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's what Bobby's into. Bobby has leashes and shit. And he's like, I'm like, we don't have a dog, Bob. Right, and you're like, right. I don't know. And then it's like a little collar that says Spike. I'm like, what the fuck is this, Bob? It doesn't say Spike. Are you Spike Lee? Spikes on Are it. you Bobby Spike Lee? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's his confirmation name. <laughs> Spike. You don't know this, but I have a whole drawer full of leather. Just full leather. Only leather. For like un all it's just cut leather, leather, leather and zippers. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw them on your bench and roll around and them. Zip, 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 zip. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Um, but we kind of touched on. I, I'm just curious how you guys feel about Kanye's recent shit. Where he, I don't know if you see. Well, you have to see because every uh, so many people are retweeting his shit. He's just going. Just when he has yeah. when he has new music coming out or whatever, he'll get back or reactivate his Twitter. And then he'll just tweet the most ambiguous tweets yeah, that everybody deep. loves. It's so – and it, it pisses me off because it'll be like tweet like, you got to love yourself before you love anything else. <laughs> Fucking 280,000 favorites, mm-hmm. 200,000 retweets. Mm-hmm. The sun shines the <laughs> brightest when you let it. People try to hold you down. You can't let them. Let me see. Keep going. We the new slaves. Uh – and then just but, like, years, but then he'll yeah. just t- completely contradict himself in his lyrics where he's like, I smacked that hoe with my dick. Mm-hmm. Well, she liked to spit. And now she thick. All right, so that's one good. hour ago that's he good. said. That's a nice bar. If your foresight is incredible, stay stubborn to your vision. That's a Jaden Smith tweet. Well, Jaden Smith's more like, you ever notice how trees are green? <laughs> I'm a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> I really love my Tesla. I'm in the future. Thank you, Elon. Mm. I kind of like that. That's kind of not as ambiguous. Just the ones that are so ambiguous are fucking stupid. Everybody's retweeting it like, he's so fucking deep. I'm going to get his new album and his new clothing line, and Kim is queen. Beat the shit out of me. Even Prince once had an access pass. Isn't that what you use for subways? It's Medicaid. Wait, what? It's like Medicaid food stamps type shit. Access pass? Yeah. Are you sure he's talking about that specifically? Do you mean an easy pass? I can only imagine. Even Prince had an easy pass. <laughs> Doubtful. Donald Glover is a free thinker. Now he's just just making bold takes. But they're not even bold. Like they're, <laughs> he just he, he's Captain Obvious right now. He should change his name from Kanye West to Captain Obvious with a K because he keeps he just keeps fucking saying obvious things. If you wake up, you'll be awakened, now and he, fucking live your life. He had one the other day that was pretty good. It was like. When you wake up in the morning, spend an hour and don't go on the internet. Just think about your thoughts. Who that, said that? That shit is fascinating. That's what Kanye said. I hate that shit. People like <laughs> freak out and they're like, you know, I hate the one video that's always on Facebook. It's like, you, we all got to put our phones down someday. Just go outside and see mm-hmm. what's there and d- d- look up. Is that a I please stop, Jim? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Add this to the please stop. I don't like that. Like people, people are like, oh, just go outside Throw your phone in the trash and just forget about it and just go throughout your day. But also like this video on Facebook. Yeah. Share it with all your friends. <laughs> Get past like the share. past. That's what that was. Oh my god. See, he's a It's just so blatant. But are you I'm I don't know how I feel. Are you excited for his him and Cuddy's album? Yeah. I'm pretty uh hyped that they I guess squashed whatever beef they had mm-hmm. like two years ago. And uh, I can only imagine it's not gonna be speeding Good. the bullet to the moon or what it's bold, bold, the speeding bullet to heaven. Whatever it was trash, it was grunge, and it was like, I don't know what the fuck that was. But, but that wasn't his most recent. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's not going to be that. So, um, I'm not really excited for Pusha T's. 
I've never really been really excited or a fan of Pusha T. Mm-hmm. Really? I feel like he just always talks about, I moved that coca. Ah, she put up a nose. Ah, push. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's June 15th. Oh, yeah. I'm not really excited about that. I can't remember. When was the last time Nas put out fucking anything? Like, 93? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Nas is overrated. And I feel like he always just talks about, like, I'm always in the streets of Brooklyn. Mm. Or is it the Bronx? Is it the Bronx or Brooklyn? I get same, those mixed up. It's the same up. thing. Yeah, it's the same trash. They're always like, represent. No, to, I know, I got my, my finger on the pulse of the system. Also, we, if we have any uh, New York listeners. Fuck you. Shove it up your ass and lick it after you're done. What am I licking? What are you, yeah, what are you shoving up? Um, a roll of quarters. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Bob, are you excited for any of this new music? I don't know if you like any rap besides uh, T Grizzly. Oh, T Grizzly is my guy. Nah, I've kind of fallen off rap. I'm getting more into country. Summer's coming around, the country concerts, mm. BB&T, drinking in a parking lot, sweating your dick off. Are it's you going to BB&T? Oh, fuck yeah. Or are you just going to the parking lot? Because I think I might just go to the parking lot this year. Oh, and not I'm not even going go to the show. I'm not going to XU. XU is on That's a Sunday. I mean. It's on a Sunday? It's on a Sunday. That's the Lord's Day. How are they going to do that? I don't, I don't know what they're trying to prove there. Who wants to black out on a Sunday? Nobody. Yeah. Horrible idea. You can Nobody's find a lot of country out. fans that would love to <laughs> black out on a Sunday. Not me. They lost one fan. <laughs> I just, after, well, I'm not blaming you, but after last year, I literally went to the show, and even when I got in, I was like, can't really see anything. I'm pretty fucked up. I can't move because it was so packed on the lawn, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to, like, I'm stepping over people laying down on blankets and shit. And then I finally found my group, and everybody's kind of just lolling there. And then we're like, this is dumb. Let's leave. <laughs> so then we had, had to leave, but then we found out they wouldn't let Harry into the next bar without a, like, a, he didn't have a proper shirt on or some shit. I think he had a sleeveless shirt. So I had to take my t shirt, my white tee that was under my shirt, put it on mm-hmm. him. He squeezed into it because I wear a medium, <laughs> and he's a big dude. And then I had my cool flannel rip sleeve shirt. So I looked pretty cool. Did you tie the. Uh, didn't tie, the tie the anything. Nope. Mm-hmm. Then it wasn't Daisy Dukes. Just a normal guy went to River Deck, blacked out. Like your pants up, nah, high waisted, high waisted jeans. You can fit in some high waisted. Nah, I mean I was wearing my little normal, uh, tan, like shorts. They weren't cargo shorts. They were mm-hmm. like tan chubbies, if you want to call them that. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know if, the, if this are there, I don't know if this still is a style. Like, would you wear? Do you still wear chubs? Not really. I never had a pair of chubbies. I thought I remember you wearing them for like Derby Day or something. Like just a nice salmon colored shorts. I don't have salmon shorts. Derby Day's like. coming. I bet you guys, I could go uh, through. I think I bet you I could go through your drawer set right now and find some a pair. Uh, a pair of salmon shorts. Yeah, I'll bet you a thousand dollars. Or swim trunks that are salmon colored. <laughs> nope, no salmon's. Okay. I feel like you're a bathing suit guy with the uh, like the flowers on them that you get at like Kmart. I, I do. I do have a flower one. Mm. You have a lot of flower button like, ups uh, too. When I say let's dress up, you wear flower shirts. I don't. Well, what? last week, no, last week was you took a bold chance and you looked good. I feel like when yeah. you retire, you're gonna be a Hawaiian shirt guy. You're gonna fucking. Oh. Yeah. I bet you Lee is. You just take after your dad. I bet no. you Lee is right now, or he's wearing camo. Camo, for sure. Love it. No, but going back to uh, XTO, I had this amazing story. You know how they uh, they check you, they pat you down when you come in the gates and all that, mm-hmm. and you go in and you buy their $25 beers. <sighs> oh, of course. One mm-hmm. time I was at a Luke Bryan concert, and these kids are sitting there cracking keystones out of a 30-pack. And I start Where? talking to these guys in, in the lawn, just sitting on the lawn cracking keystones. I'm like... How the hell did you guys get those in there? He's like, oh, well, I just I just threw it in my uh, under my coat, and I told the guy at the gate I had hunchback, <laughs> and they let me in. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Now I'm scared that the next XTU is going to be it. like a, a masker, because some dude's going to just put some AKs uh, on his back soon. and say hunchback. Too soon. How's it too mm. soon? It could happen. If, if the security's letting, so if I say Oh, I have a hunchback. He's like, you know, you're good, dude. <laughs> fucking get the so fuck nice. out of here. People can bring a lot worse to it in, than beers, but hopefully everybody's more alcoholics. But yeah, I just remember I went in, because it was last year I went in, and I, yeah, I hate the fucking beer prices. And then also they were giving me a fucking hard time for my ID. I gave my ID, and the chick's like, hold on. Gave it to three other bartenders at like one cir- one of the circular bars. And then she gave it to like a bike cop, who then came up to me and like was eyeballing me, the ID. And he was like, what's, uh, what's your zip code? And I was fast with it. I was like one nine zero one five. He's like, okay, okay. Uh, what's your what's your city? It's like Brookhaven. I I would be I'd be very pissed off. I'm insulted were... when it comes to that. Well, I was like, and I was like, okay, I understand, but it's like, you can tell it's not a fake ID, and that's me. Yeah. I've checked IDs at Harris. I you can you should be able to tell it 
Like that, that they just passed around, and then they were just like, "Okay, here, twenty dollars for Bud Light." I'm like, what the fuck? That's bullshit. It literally I, took I'd me be, like probably that, fifteen, twenty minutes to get a beer. If that happened, I, I, mm, I would yeah, not be happy. Get a discount at that point. She thought she thought she called someone because she's like, "Hold on, uh, I just need to <laughs> verify," and then went in the back, and then a bike cop came up to me with my ID, and I was like, "Oh, I guess she's she thought she caught someone red-handed, dumb bitch. Give me a fucking <laughs> beer, asshole." Did you go back to her for the drink or no? Oh, well, you then, gotta she, go back to then her she finally was like, Here. Oh, I would have been an Did you tip her? Mm. No, I don't think I did. Because, no, no. I mean, why would I tip her for fucking ripping my dick up? You know? The fuck? There's other kids running around here that I'm sure they're fucking underage drinking and vaping mm. fucking marijuana. And smuggling Ooh. packs of Keystone in. It was I incredible. Know. I feel like I enjoyed the parking lot pregame. Ten times more than I enjoyed the inside of the stadium. That's, you, that's, that's all I ever hear. That's the only part you remember. No, but I remembered the entire stadium because we had to order an Uber. I mean, Harry had to go to uh, River Deck right after. Oh, how about Palace breaking his truck? Did you hear that story? Didn't he? He broke it? They're loading up the truck. like, And you know how he gets all excited. Love the kid. But he he grabs the shifter. His foot's not on the brake. And he yanks that shit down. And the, the, the whole stick just snaps right off of his dad's truck. And he can't go. Was that BB and T or was that XTO? Yeah, that was XTO last year. Oh, Thomas I thought you were right. talking about for if leaving because he drove he drove that truck to the Phillies game or was that his truck? No, that was his dad's truck. Same truck, I guess he got fixed, but mm-hmm. dumb as shit. <laughs> Good times when you go to country concerts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't remember. <laughs> um, you want to talk about? Uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've I've had the same thing as you, except. I actually had cops looking for me. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, that was all me. Yeah, you got my mom all scared. I got your mom and your dad on the river. Phone. Yeah. I'm not dead in a I river. I called the local police department. I did my part. Wait, do you guys like Jimmy Buffett? I did. I like Jimmy Buffett. He's one of us. Five o'clock somewhere. I liked him in a... What song is that? Not Zach Brown Band. Is Margaritaville? Brown? No. I got my toes in the water, that's, ass in the sand, that's not, not a worry in the band. world. Who, who is it? Zach Brown Band. But the, I think they feature Jimmy Buffett. I don't think so. There's another song where they feature Jimmy Buffett. What's the one? Uh, <laughs> fuck. Where he's like, <laughs> I'm sailing away, not a care in the world, and mm-hmm. is that I just got the second a verse of that song? Pretty girl, life is gonna die. No, that's uh, Counting Crows. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Uh, no, keep going with whatever you're fucking... I'm gonna find the song and fuck you guys. Oh, Knee Deep. Oh, did I fuck wow. you? Wow, <laughs> is in Knee Deep. You're right. <laughs> Can't play too much, but... Yeah, Tom Buff is in it, and I get fucking jazzed. When I hear this, I slam whatever beer's in my hand, Ooh, and I down look there, whoever, Jasmo. <laughs> and I look whoever's there with me right in their eyes, and I say, fuck it, let's go, fuck we're me. American. Fuck me. Could you imagine if you were a communist in Russia fucking playing in the snow right now instead of... In the sunshine of the sweet PA air. You don't think it's ever sunny there? It's If it is, it's not that hot. They probably enjoy 65 degree weather and bears swiping at their fucking faces. What, you think we don't have bears here? Not like them. They train their bears to drive it's cars. It's always bear season there. Yeah, Ooh, it's true. always pear, bear season. Scissor. So it's not a season. I don't know, Bob. You fuck you. You don't tag your fucking deer. And I'm going to write yeah, you up for this coronation. Well, <laughs> I don't ever say that. I've never tagged a deer in my life. <laughs> Register your shit, dude. That's right. I've, I've been watching Northwoods Law. You don't mm. do that shit. I'm g- I'm gonna be the one that reports you. That's right. Poacher, no, no baiting. Why are you a snitch? Because I respect the deers more than I respect humans. <laughs> if more than you respect him, if, if we're not gonna, if they can't defend themselves, someone else has to stick up for them. And when this son of a bitch is laying <laughs> apples at his deer his deer stand, waiting for a nice little buck with fucking two points maybe on it. And you shoot it right in the fucking skull and tag it like it's nothing. All you right. tag it for a quail. All right. The next time I get some deer bologna made, uh, you can't have any. Next That's time good. I make a nice deer I didn't tenderloin, snitch. I won't give you a third <laughs> of it like I did the one time. So, okay. Suck on D's. That's disrespectful. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, do you have a knee deep? Uh, yeah. Yeah, speaking of knee deep, Jimmy, Bu- Jimmy Buffett. Bitch ass. Oh, that's. Hmm. Dude, he sucks. This is better than fucking modern baseball, you fucking loser. Here we go. <laughs> Don't enjoy. <laughs> what was the last concert you went to a couple weeks ago when you leave the podcast early? What was that? What band Wasn't was that? that? Neck deep? Movements. 
Oh, move. Oh, movements. How are they? Can't swim. Oh, how is that? Is that a song or is that's that an another, album? That's another band. Oh, oh good. Really how, fucking good. How are they? How are they different? Play two of them, and I bet you I can't determine which one's which because they're exactly no, the same. No, not at all. Every time I cry, you are yeah. there to pick me up right now. Cry right fucking. <laughs> well, you obviously <laughs> haven't done your research <laughs> because neither of those. <laughs> Look at the neon lights, they're so pretty in the starry sky. <laughs> Alright, Chip Skylark. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Alright, what's the knee deep? I right, just single handedly murder the whole post core movement. Uh, we not talk- post core, <laughs> you fucking snake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why'd you get Australian? <sighs> We're gonna get a little knee deep. We talked about stealing from work before, yeah, and we've got some bad news this week. This fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> this week we got our uh, our boy Gilberto. Oh, oh okay, Gilberto Escamilla. Arenas? Escamilla. Uh, we've got the headline was a Texas man sentenced for fifty years for stealing one point oh. two million worth of food. I saw this. Oh, was it fajitas? A... Was it mm-hmm. fajitas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Fajitas. They're called fajitas. Gilberto Escamilla worked for a juvenile detention center in San Benito, Texas. Mm-hmm. And he worked in the kitchen, but on the side, he ordered fajitas to be sent there, and he sold those on the side. So he kept it uh. off the books? Mm-hmm. Uh, he got caught because uh, at one point there were like 800,000 fajitas. or eight, Yeah. Something like that. 800,000 fajitas being shipped to the detention center. And they don't even serve fajitas there. So it's not like he was ordering something that was already going to be there, and he would like skim mm. off the top. They don't even serve fajitas. He got their... too greedy and thought nobody yeah. would look at the books of a goddamn detention center. Mm-hmm. And he he's getting a maximum fine of $10,000 on top of the $1.2 million that he has to pay back. Oh, okay. okay. And since he stole more than $200,000 uh, worth of goods, it's considered a first-degree felony. And he can get up to 99 years in prison. He's going to rot. There's, <laughs> but there's people that, like, killed people. Yeah. And they just got, like, 25 years, and mm-hmm. then you'll get probation for good He's a behavior. little bitch compared to Gilberto. <laughs> Who's a little bitch? Those murderers. Oh, I thought you were saying me. I was like, Gilberto is doing real time. Steal my he, he don't somebody up fajitas. and eat him and not get as much time as this guy. Put him in his own fajita. Gilberto's and doing real time. Insanity. Gilberto. I'll mm-hmm. get in a padded room and bounce around on the walls. Can you even do that? Well, female fajitas. What? Mm. Played in Sandy? You can play in Sandy. You got to prove it. Yeah. You got to be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't premeditate this. You I have was to just... go like full insane, though. You can't just act. I'll just go Jack Nicholson. I'll just go. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Why is there turkey in the court? And they'll be like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> what else do you see? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll just go full Jane Smith and just be like, you ever think about why our ears are shaped like that? Pears. It's what's for dinner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got nothing to lose, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, it's better to plead. Well, I don't know if it's like they threw a thing where like, oh, you plead, you pled in Sandy, and you lied, so now we're gonna fucking give you two life sentences. Yeah, have would, fun. Would you rather just like be in real prison for like? Would you rather be in a real prison for like ten years? What's a real or, prison? Yeah, yeah, as opposed to a fake prison? No, no, no. I'm saying real prison for 10 years or, like, insane asylum for, like, 20. I want I want I Iceland prison. prison. I want to be in an Iceland prison. And you can't what? just request that. Iceland? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they, they're going to give you what you what you get. They're going to put you in fucking whatever you're, bullshit prison we got here. With you're either insane people. or an asshole. They're Robbie not going to give you what you want. Bill Cosby. Oh, can, can I just go to Iceland prison? And Why would they send you to another country? <laughs> Like, and plus, isn't Iceland so low on crime that they've shut down like all their prisons, or is that one of the other Swedens or some shit? No, they put you in there, and they just hope that you don't leave because you can easily like walk out. Like this past week, I don't know who the dude was, but he like just left the prison and like hijacked, not hijacked. He like got on the same plane as like the prime minister. As uh, <laughs> you're making all this up. He was on Twitter. 
Oh, you believe everything you read on Twitter? Yeah, it was like it was like one of the, when you go to the uh, moments. Yeah, and, you, and it's like the first thing that pops up. It's mm-hmm. like, will the Eagles visit the White House for after they win the Super Bowl? And then you see this one, this simple son bitch. What do you do though? They said I don't know what he did. I forget what he did. Read the article, not just the title, please. <laughs> I'm just saying, this guy. I, I want to go to that prison. He just walked out, and they're just like, oh, I, "Hey, uh, hey, uh, move hey, to Iceland hey, before hey, you what? steal fajitas. Uh, come back." Mm. And he's like, oh, "No." I think it's like, uh, I don't know, because it's either for my thinking. If I choose prison, I'm gonna be made a bitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, I'll try to fight it. I'll probably, I'll try to Andy Dufresne it. But even Andy Dufresne loses in Shawshank. You got your gym schedule right there. You, you, you don't think you can put wait, up wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. He he gets raped multiple times. Well, well what? Andy Dufresne gets raped in Shawshank. Oh, they yeah. don't show okay. it. They just say, uh, I would like to say Andy put up the good fight. <laughs> but that day, Andy lost many of battles until finally, whatever, Morgan Freeman. He, took just, it. he just lost a fight. Well, he, that's, yeah, sure. Okay, Jim. Live Penis. in a fan, fancy. <laughs> Send amigos at him. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> um, so it's either be a bitch or be, probably get drugged up or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever else in some kind of bullshit in prison. Mm-hmm. Or go to a mental insane asylum or whatever, which I don't know if they're better now. I imagine not because their funding's probably low because they don't fund shit for mental illness in this country. So it's probably just a really shitty place that's comparable to. Did you ever see uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest? Mm-hmm. Like it. that, where they just feed you pills, you become a fucking zombie. And then if you do put up a fight, they well, they won't lobotomize you now. But You know what they got to do? They got to remake that, but have... Ins- <laughs> Have the Indian, the Native American man, played by Danny DeVito. You know Danny DeVito's in that movie. Mm-hmm. He's one of the crazy guys. You shift the roles, though. But it's a big Indian that picks up a fucking <laughs> water fountain or yeah. whatever and throws it and through a fucking... And have Danny DeVito play that guy. <laughs> no, Danny's just too old. No, there was a... There was a uh, oh, it's... dare say he's it's too old. It's in Super old. Troopers. I need you guys to see Super Troopers. Oh, I'll he's probably see A Bitcoin. Quiet Place for a third time. Because mm. there's a part where they, they keep talking about, like... Like they're saying that Danny, the the guy in, uh, always always sunny in Philadelphia, isn't the same as the guy in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's or whatever, whatever flip up. I don't know. You have to watch it. It's really funny though. Um, it was a pretty funny movie. I would suggest it instead of seeing another movie for the third or fourth time again. Um, waste of money. Um, uh, wait, did both of you see it twice? What? No, no, no. Saw what? Was that the first time she saw it? Yeah. Okay, that makes it better. I thought literally you both saw it twice. No. And I was like, Mm-mm. go Mm-mm. watch a shitty movie instead of another Sam one second time. No, I would do that. I think you would, honestly. He went to go. He went to go see C uh, C C C C C, mm-hmm. a quiet place uh, for a second time. But Ash saw it for the first time, so it's not as bad. Oh, okay. So it's kind of cool. You'd be like. I have some insight. Oh, no. Now, Jim, I don't know if Jim's one of those douchebag moviegoers where he's like... I don't ruin the like, movie for Where he's people. not like, he's like, get ready, get ready. No. Oh. <laughs> and then she's like, what, what? And it's like... And she, the fucking... she was, uh... She was, like, trying to, like, look away because every... She listened to the last episode and she heard you talking about the nail. Uh, so every time she saw the uh, stairs, she was, like, nail. freaking out because she didn't know when it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. But I, I didn't say anything. I don't like to ruin movies for people, so... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think back in your old Netflix days, where you, where I used to bitch at you because you'd have Netflix in the olden days when all they had yeah. was killer clowns from OG, space. OG Netflix, oh, man. I will give you that. You stu- you trusted mm-hmm. the Netflix process mm-hmm. because that and you shit. You called me dumb for it. I did because what, what was that baby? Remember that movie? The, 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 the baby? baby where it was in a trash, right? <laughs> yeah. What was that called? It was like oh, fuck. I I don't even remember. But the baby know. didn't have a weird face or something. Like it was stitched. I don't. I don't remember. There was one. It was Chucky? like a, well, baby there murder. was like a Thanksgiving movie where it was like a zombie turkey or uh, something. That and the turkey was like a puppet. It was like time to get fucked, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like that. It and was, was real like, bad. Sick carny. <laughs> but it just pissed me off where we'd hang out and I'd be like, "Yo, let's please." Remember, when I was really big in chess. Wow, this is really hit me. Mm-hmm. You guys taught me tra- chess, and I'd be like, "Play me," and you guys would spank the shit out of me because I didn't get the whole. <laughs> Oh, you're supposed to like predict what your opponent's gonna do. Mm-hmm. I would just be like, "Ooh, I'm gonna get your queen," mm-hmm. and you guys would be like, "No, you didn't. You're checkmate." And I'd be like, "This is a dumb game." <laughs> I learned how to play chess. They taught me how to play chess. Him and Dan. You don't know Dan. You know Dan, right? He's never met Dan. Dan the man. Mm-hmm. We did call him Dan the man a couple times. I feel like. I feel like every Dan is Dan yeah. the man. How can he not be? The Dan yeah, man? probably every Jesse is Jasmo. 
<laughs> yeah, well, it's like haven't that. met one who isn't. Jizzy Jesse. You gotta change your Twitter handle to that now. You guys are gonna embrace it. Jasmo Jess? No, just Jasmo. J A Z M O. Someone has it. No, I not your not your actual. Oh, if you can get yeah, the Twitter okay, handle yeah, yeah. to Jasmo, I get that. No, but just change your name. Like yours right now is like Gritty Culp or some shit. Fucking, <laughs> fucking rude, honcho faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bleep that out. <laughs> you don't have to. You can see how much of a bigot he is. <laughs> oh, man. Bundle of sticks. Wow. So, Bobby, do you have any other hot takes you one wanted, Mark was that you one wanted Mark? the voice on this podcast? One hour. Um, yeah, do you guys do like a sports section? Or? We can get into sports. I had something for entertainment still, but we could do sports Jesse and then we could got, close it. Jesse got, Jasmo got so hard when you said sports. Well, I, I don't think it has anything to do with baseball, so mm, pipe down. I just wanted to ask um, everybody, what is your biggest surprise of the NBA playoffs so far? Um, I didn't see a Pelican sweep coming, but no. I think that they're going to beat the Warriors. Wait, what? Bold take. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, Steph <laughs> Curry is going to be out Steph for a while. What? <laughs> You're saying the he thinks New the Orleans Pelicans, Pelicans are going to face in the West semis. So the Pelicans already Western beat Conference the... Finals. No, 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 no. Or the next round. The next round. You're saying the Pelicans are going to beat them? Yep. So the Pelicans are going to the Western Conference Finals? Yeah. Against two, and they're going to win? I haven't gotten that far, but... Um, mm. Rockets? Rockets making it for you? Mm. You don't like that? Uh, the other teams are... No, the Rockets, they're kinda, Timberwolves, they're kinda, Jazz, I okay, see, Thunder. Thunder. I don't know what the current score of the... 2-2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Oh, but Timberwolves. the current score of the Timberwolves game? I don't know. How about LeBron down 2-1? No, it's 2-2. Two, 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 really, that doesn't really surprise two, me. 2-2 two now. Oh, is it? Yeah, they tied it up uh, two yeah. days ago. One, Rockets one day are winning ago. by 23. Ha! Well, I mean, they, they could turn um, it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm kind of scared of the Pacers. I'm not. I feel like I'm more scared because Lance Stevenson's going to get in someone's face, someone's head. The Pacers aren't going to win the series, though. I think they could. It happens every time. The Pacers, I would love the Pacers to win. But, but everyone, all hope. they ever talk about is how the Pacers destroy the Cavs. But all that ever happens is the Pacers, Lance Stevenson gets under LeBron's skin, and then they goes in his it, ear. and it goes to seven games, and the Cavs win. That's what's going to happen. As is tradition. It's going to go six or seven, the Cavs are going to win. So how mad would you be if you were a Portland fan right now? Like, they were the, what seed were they, two? It was like, they were like, everyone was grinding. It was basically... Tied. But the top, t- the top they were three the or three four seed. teams were above everybody, and then the last like five seeds were the ones that were all the top two were the Rockets, Golden State, and then everyone else was all together. Yeah, and it took until the last day for it to like go down. I, I, they just felt so good, and then they just got smacked. And it's just what I, Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday, Rondo, Rondo. Like both those Rondo. teams when when the Sixers played both those teams, we like we spanked them. We spanked New Orleans. And then we spanked the Trail Bears, I'm pretty sure. What did we spank New Orleans when they had uh, DeMarcus? Uh, I don't think they uh, played until afterwards. Yeah, he was already. I thought we played him because wasn't there like a gif of uh, Embiid spanking DeMarcus and DeMarcus that spanking? That was last year. That was last year. That was last uh-huh. year. And then he, after the game, he was like, uh, yo, that dude's going to take over the league when I leave or yeah. some shit. Or when he, I well, retire. he said that when he was still on the Kings. He wasn't even on the Pelicans. Oh. Mm-hmm. I thought he was on the Pels. Mm-mm. The Pels. I like calling him the Pels like I, like I know it. <laughs> Smoothie King Center. <laughs> that's so. That's really what their center is called. Yeah, Smoothie King Center. And then they get the little baby. Oh, see, they got the baby. He's like, hey, we're gonna make it all the way. Wait, yeah, it's not a pelican, right? Isn't it a fucking baby mascot? Well, there is a pelican, but there's also a baby. What? Uh, was it? Oh, like a pelican baby. delivering King a baby. King baby. Oh yeah, King baby. You ever seen that? King baby. I thought I was pissed at us having a blue dog over fucking. <laughs> Do you know what the they king have, baby they looks have like? A, a scare, a scary fucking pelican, dude. He's the king It'll baby. Scary nightmares. shit, and then the king baby. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're winning. They have the most intimidating mascots. Well, they're winning because Anthony Davis and uh, Drew Holiday and Rondo. Playoff Rondo. Playoff Rondo is. Uh... Um, you know, I would like the oh the, uh, the Jazz to beat. You looking up King Baby? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're not getting any kids Holy to the shit. game if you have that as your mascot. That looks like a, gar- a cabbage patch kid or a garbage pail kid or whatever the fuck they're yeah, called. Yeah, King Baby, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Go Pels. <laughs> Go Pels. <laughs> look up the, the Pelican mascot. Pelican doesn't have teeth. 
Yes. Oh, Why Jesus the pelicans Christ. don't have teeth? They have the little saw blades on their fucking beak. This this is teeth. Little nicks. Mm. <laughs> um, guy. King Baby's gonna headbutt he Draymond like Green, and they're gonna yeah. King Baby. <laughs> King Baby's way scarier. How the fuck is his name, King Baby? <laughs> got a little crown. He's got a little. Is that the thing? Like, oh, the Pelicans bring in the newborn babies. Yeah. Never heard about you, that? Like, but, mommy, uh, where did uh, that okay. babies come okay. from? That's a, a stork, not a pelican. <laughs> same thing, right? Same thing. It kind of looks the same. Yeah, like a that crane. Racist. It's not the same thing. Uh, oh, just because my beak <laughs> is shaped this way? Oh, okay. Yeah. Very hot beak take. It. Oh. So, is Sixers going to close out next game? Yeah. Yes. And then we play. Who do you think we're going to play next? Celtics or Bucks? Uh, They're at two, I think. It's, yeah, it's tied. And someone's going to hit. I don't uh, know. The, the, with a, the Bucks have been playing better. They're getting better. hot now, right? Yeah, yeah. They started off really shitty slow, and now mm-hmm. they're waking up, and Giannis is like, oh, I want to play basketball now. Giannis ain't that good. Uh, the Bucks are going to – I think the Bucks will probably win. I think the Bucks series will be easier than the Heat series. Oh, yeah. I think the only – I feel like the Heat series will probably be our hardest series. They're the most physical. And, but that's the only thing that like really stops us. Everybody else, we just play our game straight up. They're like, fuck our team isn't as good, so we're just going to try and beat them by physically beating them. And it's been working, though. They're they down have, 3-1. Uh, they've been close games, though, haven't they? they we, we won last uh, game by 20, right? Uh, up until close. the end. like They're right with them up until like the last couple minutes of the fourth quarter, and then we pull away. But like they've been some grind-out games. They played yeah, three quarters of the game. That's fun. The Sixers played fucking awful. In game five, and they still won. Game four. That's game because four? the Heat played well. Three one. Yeah. They, they played shitty one. And the Heat got in under their skin. That's what the, they the did. Heat got under their skin, and then they also had to beat the refs because that was bullshit. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Josh All those three factors, and the Sixers still won. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. But I just love how they're like that when uh, the first game Miami, they uh, the pregame they were going to wherever the the news channel is in uh, Miami, and they had some guy standing by on the court. He's like. All right, what do we have to expect there, uh, Johnny Boy? And he's like, yeah, you know, you Sixers, you guys are going to have to come uh, against a hard heat uh, environment, man. We, we're, we're white hot. We like to we have to say our call our playoffs are white hot. We got the free T-shirts tonight. They're going to have a very harsh environment to play in. And you watch, and, like, throughout the whole first quarter, like, half the stands are empty. And then, like, the second quarter, that's when it, like, finally gets filled. And then, like, by the end of the third, beginning of the fourth, people start filtering out because they're like, oh, D-Wade's cold tonight. Let me go home. Olenek's been smelling up the whole fucking first three rows. Let's Olenek put the white robe back on. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> He's a goat, man. Yeah, yeah. I would be scared, like, if he wore his leggings or whatever, and then if you take him off, he just has goat legs. Like the fucking <laughs> Mr. Tumnus. Is that his name? Yeah. Tumnus? That fucker. He's such a goat person. You don't like his little, little mustache? No. His little beard? Who do you hate more? Tyler Johnson or goat Olenek? Oh, Olenek. I like Tyler Johnson. I don't. I, don't I mean, he, he looks like a, a piece of trash from Marcus Hook. Yeah, you, I mean, Mills. that's what you have to respect. He he went he went to Chichester High School. Uh, okay. Um, he uh, got his tooth knocked out in a, in a fight down at uh, DCCCC. Uh, what do you call in it? the parking lot. What the fuck? Aston that? Mills. No, I'm trying to think of like a a, a dive bar and Hook. Um, <laughs> in the, the rusty nail. I that think one. that's one of Tom and Jerry's or some shit is one of them. I think, or that's in Ridley. Um, and then he like impregnated a couple of chicks and like uh, he's like I don't really fucking care <laughs> look at my tattoo <laughs> why does he get his tooth fixed it's my, it's my kid because he's real it's my kid on my elbow <laughs> I got it done at Bone Daddy's <laughs> and it's gonna get warped in a year and it's gonna look like a caricature um did you uh what the fuck was I gonna say alright who, so who do you hate more Olenek or Winslow mm. Winslow um, fuck Winslow it's gotta be Winslow I hate Winslow 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 has had like 10 fouls Every game so far, yeah, he's hacking the shit out of everyone. It's like they're not counting him. I don't, I don't understand. It seems like every like three minutes he's getting called for another foul, but somehow it doesn't get fouled out. Yeah, I, I it just seems it. like I'm always like, oh, that must be his like fourth or fifth, and they're like his second, second foul. Yeah, and I'm like, what the mm. fuck? I don't know if I'm just confusing people or if they're just given. I don't get too when the NBA like and nobody questions it, nobody really bats an eye when it's clearly one player that like is involved in the play and fouls a person, and then they just tack it on to like someone that was like away from the play. Like Ben Simmons, like yelled at James Johnson, like a little bit. I don't even know. There. Not when they called the tech, right? I'm talking about just like they called. I think it was personal foul. On him. No, no, no. He didn't foul Johnson. He fouled uh, uh, what's it called uh, Dragic. No, like, when he was no, driving. No, that was Covington. No, no, no. Covington fouled Ben him. Simmons. No, no, fouled no. Dragic. No, it was when Covington. He was, when he, 
No. Covington pushed him, and they, then James got, Johnson got and pushed Covington against the backboard. Covington board. got called for a technical for pushing him. Ben right. Simmons fouled Dragic when he was driving. Okay. After he fouled him, that's when Covington pushed him. I thought he had like And then a break. James Johnson went after Covington for pushing him. Johnson and uh, Covington got called Tex. Ben Simmons had the foul originally. I didn't see the, the Ben Simmons part. Yeah. I, I just thought he like went up to James Johnson and like said his mom smelled, and then they're like, that's a foul, Ben! Damn it! T- no. Damn it! Jesus, I just loved, watch, watch uh, your language, sir. The great, you had a great snap back, or clap back. Did, did you get any love besides me on uh, that clap back? Two other, two other people. When uh, people were tweeting out like, I don't, I don't think anybody should be starting anything with I was a, one of like James a thousand Johnson. People that said that though. He's a he's an MMA fighter with seven professional knockouts, and uh, he's the last person to be starting anything with. And it's all like, being members. Oh, of his because family. they know he, he's not going to retaliate because he knows what damage he can he do. He knows he can hurt someone. Yeah, and then you said, yeah, like his wife. Because mm-hmm. I didn't even know he'd be his wife. And then oh, you look yeah. at the neck tattoo, and you're like, yep, mm-hmm. yep, I can see it. How is he still in the NBA? Well, yeah, Greg Hardy, he, he kept going a little bit. Didn't Ray he? Rice. Is basketball players held to a different uh, held to a different standard? Was it on camera? No. So as long as it's not on camera, but he gets accused of it, mm-hmm. it's still yeah. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, it's pretty much it. how it works. Mm-hmm. It was like a dude on the Forty Nine ers. It's like Donald uh, Ronald Sterling or Donald Sterling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it was fine until yeah, his... Donald Sterling just had the video record or the, te- the yeah. It was fine until there was recording. That was just it was kind of weird though because he's like, don't bring. Black people to my that, box. I didn't get that at all because yeah, yeah. his, his girlfriend was white. black. Or black, yeah, that's what I meant. I don't know. And she's like, "Okay, daddy." <laughs> so disrespectful. Oh yeah, I have a question. Uh, What's that uh, playoff question here? Uh, all right, so who who is uglier? Who gets the Sam Cassell Award? Um, Tony Snell or Tyus Jones? Who is uglier? Playoff question. Mm. I think Kelly Olynyk is the ugliest player in the playoffs right now. I mean, he's pretty he's pretty ugly, but T- Tyus Jones and Tony Snell are fucking I honestly have to look up these mangled. Ty- Tyson Jones is one of the first one that comes up. Tyus Jones. Tyus. Tyus. Yeah. yeah. That's what I said. You said Tyson. You said I said Tyson. Okay, piss on what I type, <laughs> Tyus. Okay, but you said Tyson. Eat my ass. He's not that ugly. Uh, he's, he's just weird looking. He's kind of ugly. He's like a gremlin. Yeah, he looks like yeah, he looks like he He's not as bad as like, <laughs> Kelly Olynyk's only uh, uh, uglier than this dude. All right, now look up Tony Snell. Tony Snell. Can you can you describe Tony Snell without Tony being Snell racist? Wife. Without I, being racist, can you describe Tony Snell? Oh, he's just fucked he, up. Teeth. He looks like like a two K, <laughs> like a bad, <laughs> like a terrible two K. Two K. Yeah, <laughs> and he looks like he got the shit beat out of him. Do you know this guy? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's not that's not a good. I mean, he still looks ugly as shit there, but there's, that's he's not, not a good. A angle. Bad looking guy, dude. <laughs> oh, that's him on the Suns, isn't it? In it, no, it's even on Bucks in that one. Look at back to him from the. Uh, what what do you mean, what's the- wrong, <laughs> dude? He, he, I would think. Am I missing something? You're here? telling me that this man is better looking than both of those? No, well, yeah. Discuss. Tyler Johnson's uglier than this dude. Right, he's top three. Moe's? <laughs> uh, um, what's his name's uglier than these two? Um, can't think of it. What team's he on? I don't even know what team he's on. I gotta think. Yeah. Whatever. Forget it. I'll I'll remember it after. Kind of looks like famous Dex. I don't even know what famous he looks, looks like. like. If if Travis Scott like Whoa. got the shit beat out of him, no. You know what I like? I've been seeing I like for a lot more like TMZ videos are coming up or on, on my YouTube because I think I watched once and now they're all in my suggested, mm-hmm. and it's a bunch of them where it's like, uh, ASAP Rocky freaks out at paparazzi calling him travis scott and travis scott freaks out paparazzi for calling him asap rocky <laughs> and then keep getting fucking like freaking out he's like i'm not fucking travis man look at this that's what asap did he went this is travis and then travis like yo it's not fucking me man like tried to like swing on some dude and he's like all right, all right man i thought it was asap shit that's just fucked up one one well let's end this on this i guess um because i i need to be educated in the world of these female trash dirt bottom mm-hmm. the barrel rappers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well Lil not Tay, all right. I don't be vicky educated. and bad bobby is bad it bad baby is it bad baby bad or bad babe. bobby it's bad you guys should call me bad bobby mm, i would call you bad <laughs> bobby. Um, <laughs> So, I don't know if you did enough research. I tried to do some, but I was just mostly just watching a bunch of videos where they were, it was just clickbait, where they're like, oh, whoa, Vicky or Bad Baby 
speaking in their normal voices, and it's never them speaking in yeah. their normal white voices. It's just a, a video of some kid saying... I wouldn't say white voices. They're... Mm. I would say... Whatever. They're fucking... I don't know what to fucking call it. Not whatever the fuck they talk Civilized. like Civilized. That's even fucking worse. How? Jesus Christ. Saying they're uncivilized otherwise? I can't understand what they're saying. Compre- comprehensible. Okay. I don't know, dude. You can't <laughs> say anything at this point. But but they're what they look like they should talk. And then I love Lil, T- uh, Lil Tay's worse. nine, right? Lil Tay's nine. And she's saying, N-word this, N-word that. <laughs> look at me my money bag. This bitch trying to come at me. Yeah. I love the video of her smoking carrots. That's the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. Didn't see that. Yeah. She's talking about smoking blunts, but she starts the video, like, lighting up a carrot in her mouth. It's fucking amazing. Does she have music? Or how is she rich? <clears throat> She's on Instagram. How did... How is she rich? I don't know. I feel like her family's rich, and they just gave her an iPhone at when just she was said, seven. It. We and don't said, care anymore. Do what you want. She's like, I... Yeah. Lil Tay doesn't make music. The oh. only ones that make me mu- The only person out of the three that make music is Bad Baby. What's Woe Vicky, though? Woe Vicky is another Instagram personality that I just has a lot of followers. I don't understand how... Well, I think okay. she was like a model or something. She's not. No, she's ugly no, 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 as no, 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 fuck. No, no, no. Ba- bad baby. She's a buck tooth bitch. <laughs> she is. She just screams, bad puts her hair up in a bun, and then she starts beating the shit out of the ground. Everyone's like, <laughs> Are you talking about Woe Vicky? Yeah. Yeah, that fucking dumb bitch. That's a video where she just starts punching the ground. She was like punching a pool, I thought. That was the, She did one. I punch a pool? <laughs> she's in a parking garage. She's just like, she starts like, yeah, baby. I can't understand what she's saying. Puts her hair, hair in a bun and then starts like wailing on the ground like yeah. she's beating somebody up. And Bad then... Baby took her meme from Dr. Phil and turned it into a rap career. So and now that's they're... where I, I applaud her. She took yeah. being a fucking meme, which usually people just get that, become a drug addict and burn out. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. she's making it to a rap career. But I don't think she's good. But I'm getting pissed that she's getting features. I saw she had a feature with um someone I fucking respect. Who was it? Lil Pump? No. Ooh. Ooh. I th- no, I think it was someone like... She's gotten big names on her songs. Yeah, I, no, but I think it was someone like it was I don't a good, actual good rapper, right? And I don't know if it's post her their agents being like, "Yo, this is like a new upcoming person. Just put them on your as one of your features," mm-hmm. or if it's actually like they're, they actually because a lot of the times when it's a feature, they record their song and then it's like a kind of a thing where like, all right, well, it's like a it's a it's like a deal. Yeah, where like okay, we'll let you jump on the beat, same beat as this person. We'll sell it and we'll give you feature rights and all this shit. Mm-hmm. Or I don't know if it's like where they meet in the studio and it's like Cuddy and fucking Bad Barbie or whatever, Bad Baby, and he's Barbie. like, "Yo, don't all right, I'm gonna speak this." Dare. But it's someone respectable doing tracks with these fucking mm-hmm. frauds. It's like when uh, uh, what's it called? Gucci Mane went on with Jake Paul. I had never even heard that. Don't, I don't even know it. Yeah, I'm very mad that that's a thing. And kind of yeah. want to go like just branch off and then branch back. I've been watching videos of uh, Chanel West Coast being denied <laughs> access to clubs and her just going off on the like the security being like, you ain't fucking shit. I got bars for days, man. I freestyle all of you. Uh, I'm like, you are fucking like she was so. Who's the way? Who's you, denying Chanel West Coast? First of all, who's saying uh, no, no, no. some security guard at like some club in L.A. or whatever denied her and her friends access. She's like, Why? I bring seven bad bitches and y'all don't let me because I guess he knew that she's basically fucking being a piece of shit and trying to hijack black culture. She's the mayor of a- L.A. She's a piece of shit. Wait, how is she hijacking black culture? Because she's just trying to be a rapper and got signed to fucking Young Money because of Rob Deerdeck. Okay. And then Charlemagne the God totally dicked her down, and then she's just coming out at like, this is really, this, it's fucking terrible. If you like Chanel West Coast, if you're on the Chanel West Coast train, get a t-shirt with Chanel West Coast on it, and get the fuck out of my face, because I don't want you on the podcast anymore. Ooh. Wow. But also, branch back, uh, these bitches... Mm-hmm. Bad, um, bad baby making a rap career, making a rap career. So well, I respect her for that. She's she's fifteen too. So she's I thought like she was like sixteen. No, no, no. She's fifteen. Does it make it better? Lil Tay's nine, and just flexing on Instagram. Whoa, Vicky, she really got her fame from like you look at her and she looks like this white girl. And but then she has like, but she says she, that she's black. Oh yeah. So she, she yeah. wasn't featured. Was she featured on? Forgot about that. Tosh. Yeah, or on, she was on the Tosh podcast, 0. or one of the podcasts, or something, where it's like her just going off. She was on Tosh Point oh. and that's probably what Scott well got her. She got she was big on Instagram, and then Tosh Point oh brought her on because it got to the point that everyone was calling her out for being white when she acts when she says that she's black, says the n word a lot, and just acts out. She uh, she needs to get beat up. And more she brought her. up her. She apparently she took Ancestry too and showed her results. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, she's I don't got, know. That's. She's, it said 24% European Jewish, 18% Great Britain, 
fifteen percent Cameroon slash Congo, ten percent Mali. How do we know that's her though? <clears throat> that's the only even thing if I- it's her, you can, uh, I don't know. Like you're you're African, but you're not black. <laughs> Less than one percent. We all from Africa. We were not. You guys didn't get any African on yours. I took African American studies. We already went I over this. I took rap class. Okay, well, my African American studies professor. But you can't rap. I was educated. Ooh, think that we all the world started in Africa. <coughs> Understand? Okay, so we're all from Africa. We all have lines there. Some are longer than the others. <laughs> so you're gonna you start gonna start speaking ebonics or whatever? Well, that's racist the to even language? say that word. No, no you oh, say ebonics. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna start talking like that, Jim? No. What is this ebonics that you speak of? Just all slang terms. Okay. Mm. But can you guys actually learn some Japanese? I really want to hear you guys talking Japanese. Yeah, I mean, I want to see. I want. <laughs> he knows enjoy. That's per- <laughs> Pearl Harbor. <laughs> That's a start. Pearl Harbor. <laughs> He's just gonna say Pearl Harbor. Um, but it's no, the same I, in every language. I do want to. Uh, I want to invest because I think resistance is only sixty dollars. Yeah, right. It's like I think we could share the account. There's like an app you can get though. That I saw what, like a cheaper app mm-hmm. that's not Rosetta. Yeah. We'll look if any listeners it. know anything better, possibly than Rosetta Stone, or if Rosetta Stone's the best, let us know. But also, real quick, so uh, the little Asian girl, Lil Tay, Lil Tay. So I was watching the video that was kind of like kind of more recently big, where it's. Bad, I don't like, what's her real Bad name? Bad Baby, Danielle Bergoli. Yeah, that's her name. She, because then when when she starts going by this, everybody's like, oh, she's a rapper. It's like, no, she's the fucking Dr. Phil chick. Mm-hmm. She's Catch Me Outside. She Catch Me Outside, runs into Whoa Vicky, mm-hmm. and they Catch Me a, Outside has her security guards, like, kind of dividing them. But then the video cuts to Lil Tay, and I thought it was just a bystander, like a little girl with a popsicle, like, nah, nah, you ain't gonna nah. do shit, bitch. The fuck you gonna do, pussy? You a pussy, bitch? Oh, you ain't gonna do shit. I'm like, oh, it's who's this old Asian girl? They were like girl? starting Twitter beef, and they were saying, oh, you ain't shit. And then Whoa Vicky was like, N word, you ain't shit, because she can say that apparently. Yeah, mm-hmm. she, yeah, she's allowed. And then they decided to fight, uh, to fight, because they were like, if, if you're about it, if you prove <laughs> it. So they they How tried old's to Whoa prove. Vicky? Whoa Vicky's 18. Fuck Mary Kill. Whoa Vicky, bad baby, Lil Tay. Oh, this we're is, not doing this. You can't this. do this. We're not doing this. What state? <laughs> What state you is You have to go being... country, dude. What, Nobody what allows state are you, you fucking... in? No, no <laughs> state allows anything with a nine-year-old, Jesse. So you got to kill Why little... are you, you gotta... suing? <laughs> this is Iceland, Jesse. You can do whatever you want. I'm killing little Tay. I'll <laughs> tell you that much. Tay. You can't... Well, okay. <laughs> so what's what are you doing now? Yeah, that's for the viewers to decide. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners. What is Jesse going to go with? He killed little Tay. Who's he fucking and who's he marrying? Are you going to consensually fuck a buck tooth beaver and marry the, a, a the, famous the, rapper? The 15 year old in like Missis- Missouri, I think you can still do it. Or are you going to somehow <laughs> well, fuck a 15 year old? Well, I'm not going to sign a prenup with. I'm just going to go with the answer. I'm not going to sign a prenup with. You want the prenup. Brigoli. Yeah, you, you want the prenup. I want no, the prenup. You don't want the prenup. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, she's making prenup. a. She's going to make a no, ton of money. I thought the prenup is what guarantees you half of it. No, no it guarantees no, that you the other way around. Yeah. Prenuptial agreement. It means you get what you put. Uh, you get what you have, and then you keep your own stuff. If you split up. Yeah, you don't split it down. The you don't get any of her money. Well, hopefully you just cheat on her and don't be straight up and want to divorce her because yeah. that would just be wrong. Give her the decision. Yeah. Put uh, the ball in her court. You mm-hmm. know, that's true. That's That really opens my eyes. I think uh, – <laughs> yeah, <I>, yeah. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. We, we just pit you with a 15-year-old. You're going to marry a fucker. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, 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 listen here. Listen, listen, listen. For the, this is a fun fact for all the <laughs> – my mm-hmm. grandfather married my grandmother when she was 15. How old was How he? Was it? <laughs> I think he was uh, 28. You're going to, we know, you know <laughs> the numbers and you're going to lessen it a lot. No, I think, I think he was like 20, 21. How old was she? 15 or 13? 15. Okay. Had my aunt Terry. Back that, then that, wasn't too bad, right? Cause they were, th- and had my dad. I don't, I don't want to know what your grandfather would do. I want to know what you would do. Carry the legacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> so you're marrying bad baby. Yeah, you're she's fu- got the money. You're yeah, fucking Vovic. Yeah, yeah. And you're killing little Tay. Oh, you gotta fuck that. Are you gonna Are you gonna let her blow you? 
put a bag over her head and <laughs> bagging on something teeth. Her <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um all right. I guess on that note, <laughs> that was a pretty good uh pretty good take. Yeah. Um, Better than last week's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was all right. Nope. <laughs> oh. Uh so all right guys. That was a good episode. I think we got a lot of uh, off our chest and uh we'll see you next week. Thanks, Bobby, for being on and uh next week we'll put it on your chest. All right, see you guys. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. It was an honor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Piss. <laughs> on me. Beat. Piss on me. Fuck on me. Mama. <laughs>